Welcome, folks, to another episode of Are You Zobsafe? Today, we're taking a look at Cobram, Victoria, Australia. The shrill voice of the announcer means that it is time for another episode of Are You Zobsafe? If you'd like to learn more about the announcer, you can visit him in his camper in the parking lot where he enjoys sitting out in his Bermuda shorts listening to the wind chimes and the approaching death that is just around the corner. Please stop inviting people to my camper. Shut up. Sitting with me is also the master of plaster, Jason Hall. What? Plaster? Don't stifle my creativity. Boss, can I have some water? It's, it's really hot in here. Shut up! We should probably get to what this episode is about. Agreed. Today we're looking at the town of Cobram, Victoria. I've never heard of the country of Victoria. Is this a neighborhood in Victoria, British Columbia, perhaps? No, it's in Australia. Ah, yes. The land down under. Although if you turn the world upside down, we are the land down under. Did you eat those brownies in my fridge again? No. I fed them to the announcer's dog. (laughs) Ha ha! Classic. All right. The request to cover Cobram comes from Taza, one of our good zombie organization friends. Taza! I swear to God. Cobram is a town in Australia, population 5,500, and it is across the river from another town which is doomed in a zombie apocalypse, so we will not even mention them. There are plenty of dairy farms and wineries around the town. Indeed. Now, from the information we got, there are a lot of houseboats in the area, and that's good news because it means you can get on a houseboat to be safe. However, the problem is that the water level can go down a lot, which makes it very easy to be caught by zombies. Looks as though the zombie apocalypse has already hit. No, uh, this is a vineyard or orchard, I believe. It just looks dead. So zombies will be right at home. Sweet, merciful McGillicuddy, you're right. Zombies gravitate towards dead things, and the vineyard looks dead. I do enjoy wine. That's because you're a whiner. Boo-hoo! Someone keeps stealing my food out of the camp fridge. Wah! Teenagers keep throwing rocks at me. God, it never ends with you. If I may point out. You may. Thank you. What you could do is have the zombies go into this dead vineyard, and then seal them in with the fence. That way, you have great wine and zombies. Hey, if you could get the zombies into one of those big wine-crushing tubs, they can wander around crushing grapes. Huh. I think I may have just come up with a business idea. I don't think I want to drink wine that comes from the grapes zombies have stepped on. This is just like when you wouldn't drink that pop after the announcer took a sip. Can you blame me? Going on. It is important to try and keep the zombies within the vineyard. They will feel at home in the dead-like surroundings, and they will be contained there where you can apparently put them to work for you. Our next picture is... Oh, dear Lord. Do they live in Silent Hill? No, uh, he lives in Australia. Well, I'm saying that the fog gives the impression that they live in Silent Hill. Man, this looks creepy. To be honest, if this town has the same problems that Silent Hill has, then they're in for a world of hurt, and zombies are the least of their problem. Need I mention Pyramid Head? The announcer? Hey! No, Pyramid Head. One bad dude. However... If they do live in a nice little town and not the inspiration for Silent Hill, then I have to give Taza... Taza! Seriously, dude. I have to give them points because they have a bridge, and not only that, but there's a gate, and that gives maximum protection. You won't have to worry about zombies getting through your bridge when you have a gate attached. Agreed. The gate will keep you safe, and it will keep the zombies off your property. Plus, it will keep the people you don't want off your property. Like the Dutch. Hey, you really can't go around saying stuff like that, man. Our next picture is of, apparently, where zombies are going to come out of the fog to feast upon the living. Dear Lord, this town is creeping me out. Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out, too. All this fog poses a real problem. You aren't going to see zombies coming, and if you don't see them, they will get you, and that is the end, my friends. The fog is a serious problem, and that means some points being lost to the sleepy town in Australia. Remember when you hooked that fog machine up to the announcer's camper vent and turned it on? That was yesterday, and that was epic. I ran out of my camper carrying puddles screaming! That was not funny! You didn't even have time to put your pajamas on, man. It was awesome. Oh, well, look at this. We have a giant strawberry. I'm a big fan of strawberries. If you paint the strawberry like brains, the zombies will go after that instead of people. No, they will not. We covered this in the Zomcast. Do you even listen? Now, if you could attach wheels, an engine, and a steering wheel to that, then fit on blades and other weapons, well, 
you could have a mobile delicious fortress. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. You aren't supposed to stifle my ideas. It's a dumb idea, and the announcer agrees with me. I- Dumb idea! Well then, what's your idea for it? There are no ideas! It's giant strawberry! It serves no purpose! One thing the town does have going for it is the fact that they have the Cobram Bridge, which apparently is a lift bridge. That means you don't have to destroy the bridge to keep zombies out. You can just lift the bridge. Problem solved. Zombies can walk underwater to the other side. Oh, uh, ah, damn it! Okay, forget what I just said. You could lift the bridge with zombies on it. There you go, thinking outside the box, great idea. Why, thank you for being supportive. Don't get used to it. All right, well that brings us to the conclusion of another Are You Zom Safe, the program where we tell you just how safe your town or city is. Today we were looking at Cobram, Australia, a nice town located in the land down under where one of our biggest fans, Ta- ZA! Yes, them, where they are located. First, the good points about the town, which includes the fact that they have a small population. Those are always good to protect oneself in a zombie apocalypse. In addition, you can lift the bridge to produce hilarity by having zombies fall all over each other. However, as for keeping zombies out, it is useless because the zombies can just walk underwater. You have a giant strawberry that can create an epic and delicious weapon, and you have a vineyard, or possibly an orchard, that looks dead, and that is where you will coral the zombies so you can pick them off easily. All in all, we have decided that this town in Australia will get 2.5 stars out of 5. You gain points for the bridge, the areas that already look dead, and the fact that you can keep zombies penned up, plus the giant strawberry. However, the fact that your town seems to resemble Silent Hill at night means you lose major points because you have zombies and Pyramid Head to deal with as well. Agreed. Thank you to Zed at Taza. Don't say it, announcer. I swear to God, I will staple your lips shut. All right. Thank you to you guys for sending us photos and a description of your town. If you'd like your town featured, then just send us any pictures you have, although they're not required, along with a description of where you live to cjzomcast at gmail.com. We release Are You Zom Safe every second Friday, and you can download the audio version on iTunes, or watch the video with the pictures at www.youtube.com slash deadonyou. You can also visit our blog at deadonyou.blogspot.com. Say goodnight, announcer. Good night, announcer! I told you flat out not to do that as a joke. I'm going to come to your camp with my fire poker, and I'm going to shove it up.